to go here with some questions for you. Uh, let's start with James Krapia from the Oregonian. Tyler, just going back to about seven months ago now, uh, but spring ends abruptly, and two weeks later you go from learning an offense and having things kind of stopped and paused to uh, now having a pretty fierce quarterback competition. Just what was your initial reaction to everything back in late March, early April, when, uh, again, everything kind of paused, and obviously when this all started, and, and then Anthony committing? Uh, yeah, obviously it was an unfortunate situation getting shut down, but um, coming into it, you know, we, Coach Chris Ball and all the other coaches, you know, we sat down and talked about, you know, what's going to be best for the team and we had to bring a competition in here to, in order to create a competition in the quarterback room to make everybody better. Um, so wasn't really shocked um, after that, after the spring, but just knowing that, you know, what our work in the offseason was going to mean and how I was going to prepare myself and, and the guys around me to get better was going to be crucial. Next question goes to Matt Prem from 247 Sports. Yeah, Tyler, weird off season, one we've never really seen before. No spring ball and, and lots of Zoom meetings. How would you just describe your comfort level with this new offense? And um, maybe how does that compare to this point in fall camp to previous two years here? Yeah, I honestly feel a lot more comfortable with it than uh, maybe in the offense in the past, just because, you know, I spent a lot of time in the off season with the, the amount of off time we had just studying the playbook, getting with uh, Coach Housewright, Coach Casa, and Coach Moorhead, um, just trying to, to get as far as I, as I can in the playbook for when we do go through these installs in the fall that I'm not surprised by anything, and I already kind of have a base understanding of it. Um, and a lot of that comes with lonely work and, and repetitions with some of the wide receivers. Um, and I felt like, you know, going into it, granted, with the, all the time and, and resources that we had, uh, I felt like, you know, I had no regrets, and I did everything I could to put me in a position to, to come into, into this battle and come into the fall ready to play. Uh, next question goes to Max Torres from Scoop Duck. Tyler, great to meet you, man. Um, you know, we've had some awesome quarterbacks come through here at Oregon. Uh, obviously, you're going to be finding yourself compared to guys like Justin Herbert and the like. But, you know, with, with the spotlight kind of on you, what kind of legacy do you want to leave at Oregon? Yeah, obviously, you can't replace a guy like Justin Herbert and, you know, guys before him. I'm just trying to be myself. I'm trying to be trying to be Tyler and, and make a make my own name and write my own uh, write my own story in, in this chapter here. So and I'm excited for what's to come in the future. And, and I'm just really thankful that we can hopefully have a season and, and get some time. We'll go to Eric Scopel from 247 Sports. Hey, Tyler, good to see you again. Um, when they made the addition of Brown, you mentioned it a second ago, um, you were up for the challenge. How, how has maybe just having him around helped you grow as a quarterback and, and maybe take your game up a level? Yeah, it, it's honestly been the, the best thing for, for me and the quarterbacks because, you know, he brings a level of, uh, of maturity because, you know, he's, he's an older guy. You know, he has a good understanding of football itself. Um, he's a great guy, great friend, great teammate. And overall, he's just a great addition to the team. And I think, uh, you know, I'm getting better because of it. And I know he is. So uh, it's honestly uh, been a great process. I'm really thankful for it. Next question goes to Ryan Thorburn from the Register Guard. Tyler, getting that time to, to be around Justin and, and learn from him, I know that really helped you. You've said that in the past, but kind of a strange question. I'm just wondering, does his success in the NFL tearing it up, you know, three Rookie of the Week honors already, does that in any way give you even more confidence knowing – you know, not only was he a good player at Oregon, but what he's doing right now in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, obviously I'm super happy for him. You know, all the success, has, success he's had um, here at Oregon is translated into the NFL. And, um, you know, it's not really a shocker to me because I know he's so talented physically and he, and he works extremely hard. So I'm super proud of him. And, you know, I'm, I'm really, uh, really glad to see what he's doing up there. And you know, it's obviously some, something and someplace that I want to be someday and all the guys on our team. So he's been a great influence on us. Next up. A.J. Jacobson from Rivals. Tyler, I wanted to get your opinion of uh, some of the standout wide receivers that have been catching the ball from you and the other quarterbacks mm -hmm. uh, this fall camp and just give us an impression on what you, you're seeing from a quarterback's perspective. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of guys I'm really comfortable with so far uh, and putting a lot of work in the offseason are guys like Johnny Johnson, uh, Jalen Red, Micah Pittman, uh, Devin Williams. Um, Josh Delgado, you know, the list goes on. Every single guy that is, has been asked to step up to the plate has been. And, you know, I've been working with mainly the, the first three guys that I said and Johnny, Mike, and, and Jalen Red. And, you know, we just had a great chemistry so far. You know, I feel so comfortable throwing to them. I've um, been working a lot with the tight ends and, and Hunter Campmoyer, Spencer Webb, and, and Cam McCormick. So 
um, I'm really excited for, for what we got going on and, and how we can get better each day. Next up, uh, Tyson Alger from The Athletic. Hey, Tyler. Um, when Anthony committed, like, did you know who he was? Like, had you seen any of his games at BC just on TV? Like, did you go look him up or anything? And then you also said a great friendship there. Just w what's that look like? Just two guys competing for a position and just your, your friendship. Yeah. Um, no, I, I had no prior knowledge of him. Um, just because I, I think that was just a wide gap between West Coast and East Coast television. And, you know, I wasn't really familiar with Boston College or who they who they played against uh, on a large basis. Um, but once he got here, you know, once we got into meetings and started working out together and throwing, you know, we developed a good relationship. And um, just honestly, the respect for each other's game and respect to, that we were trying to get better. So, I mean, that's the base of it. And, you know, I'm really glad that, you know, we had that opportunity to get better together. Next question is going to go to Hayden Herrera from NBC16. Uh, yeah, Tyler, how is dealing with outside distractions this year different? Because, you know, you've got teams in other conferences that have already played several games at this point. You guys mm -hmm. haven't played yet. When, when a ranked team, you know, loses the, the playoff picture, you know, p analysts talk about that. How have you guys kind of dealt with that? Yeah, we haven't really paid too much attention to, you know, whether we can have a good chance of getting into the playoffs or anything like that or what um, a lot of people like to talk about. We're just trying to focus on us during this fall camp and, and trying to focus on how we can get better because you know, it's all going to change no matter what. And you know, all we can really control is, is, is the games that we have and who, we, who our opponent is and how we can get better. So when all the cards, you know, are on the table, then they can decide that. But um, it's honestly the most thing, the greatest thing that we have been is just learning from their mistakes and learning how we can apply – you know, our game and just simplify it and, and not do what they did, you know, turnovers, explosive plays, things like that, that we can try and um, make happen or avoid. Next up, James Krippia from the Oregonian. Uh, Coach Moorhead was talking even back in the spring about just the differences in this offense, and mm -hmm. uh, he really addressed head on what, what fans have been clamoring for for a while, which is more quarterback runs. Uh, we got to see you do a little bit of that early in spring. How much more quarterback run is involved? We've seen even the option run game, it looks like, uh, in the more traditional sense. Uh, how much more of a quarterback run? And how much the, do you think you bring to the table in that regard? Uh, yeah, definitely more than last year. We're definitely uh, mixing up a little bit. There's always stuff on the table for, for what can um, be best for the offense. You know, I'm obviously told the coaches, and I've, I feel like this offseason that my, you know, my speed and agility has is, is definitely increased, and I feel comfortable running in any situation between the tackles on the edge. Um, whatever whatever is needed for the team, to be honest, I think Moorhead has the the capability to do what whatever is necessary. But you know, it definitely is going to be a little bit more, um, you know, obviously than than last year. And I'm just excited to see how how all kind of meshes together. Next up, Kevin Wade, two four seven Sports. Um, being the quarterback there in the room the longest, what have you seen from the two freshmen, uh, Jay and Robbie, so far through fall camp? I know Jay was there a little bit in the spring as well. Yeah, Jay, uh, Jay has really shot up this fall camp. You know, he's, uh, he's been playing great. He's got a great arm. He's had a good feel for the offense so far. Um, he's, he's been playing well. I think, you know, they're, they're both still kind of trying to learn the offense and get the hang of things. And, you know, Robbie's a really athletic guy. He's got a whole lot of talent. And, and I, I, they've been great in the quarterback room just as, just as friends and teammates, you know. Um, they still got a ways to go for, I think, just learning football and, and the offense. But I think, you know, the coaches have done a great job with that. And I'm trying to do the best that I can you know, to bring them along and talk to them. And, and so is Anthony, because we both have our, our different, uh, you know, different viewpoints and, and how we can both uh, bring everybody along, because that's what matters. We're trying to uh, make everybody better and, and get everybody ready to play. Uh, to Max Torres from Scoop Duck. Yeah, Tyler, a uh, quick question in Arizona. Uh, we're, we're really seeing a lot of Arizona guys, you know, come to Oregon uh, in the past couple cycles. We got four or five guys this cycle. What do you think has kind of played a role in Arizona becoming such a big state for Oregon recruiting wise? Yeah, I think it's just Arizona has a lot of talent. You know, it was really kind of unrecognized before. I wasn't as recruited as much by uh, Oregon and some other schools. And I think they're kind of starting to recruit down there and see a lot of these talented guys and a lot of great, uh, great people. You know, before me was, was Johnny Johnson, guys like Jalen Jelks, uh, Kanai Benoit. Um, so, I mean, obviously those are great guys, great players. And it's kind of good to see a lot more uh, Desert Ducks coming back to the the Pacific Northwest and um, I know they've been great additions to our team and we've all kind of bonded over that that same uh, that same state and how you know how you got to deal with the weather change and how you can deal with all these other things but it's been good to to see a lot of guys coming and you know in, in the future. 
Next up, Matt Preem, 247 Sports. 11 days in through fall camp. Um, what have you kind of learned about this offense? What stood out in that scrimmage for you guys? Um, I think there's, there's just a lot of opportunities for explosive plays and, and completions. You know, we spread the ball around a lot. Um, you know, everybody's going to get a touch on the ball. I think there's not really one guy that's going to be targeted or one specific play or, or down in distance. You know, there's a lot of opportunities for plays to be made. And, um, and, I, and it's honestly been really refreshing because, you know, it, it's, it's simplified reads. There's, you know, reading the defense a lot better. You know, I have such a comfortability with the protection and, and understanding how the defense works now just for three years in. And uh, it's always been really exciting. And um, I'm ready for what's to come. Good time for two more uh, with Tyler. Uh, first up, uh, Tyson Alger from The Athletic. What's it been like watching Cody Bellinger this year and just <laughs> how, how much of a relationship is there? Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, I, I basically, I, I grew up with his younger brother. We were best friends and we obviously went to the same high school at Hamilton in, in Chandler, Arizona. But I used to sleep over at their house all the time when, when Cody was just a skinny kid like me in high school. And, and then he shot up once he got to the, to the minors and majors. But um, it's, not, it's not shocking. You know, he's been doing this for a while. So I'm really excited that he's in the World Series again. And hopefully they can pull this one off because, you know, they deserve it. Last question goes to Ryan Thorburn of the Register Guard. Tyler, with uh, five new starters on the offensive line, how much chemistry have you been able to uh, kind of develop with those guys behind the scenes the last couple of years? And, and, and how were you able to keep that going during the coronavirus uh, absence? Yeah, it's honestly uh, probably been one of the greatest relationships that I've developed in, in the offseason other than the wideouts is, um, you know, they're my – Alex Forsyth, Ryan Walk, you know, they're my roommates, so – even we're at home uh, eating dinner, we're talking about protections, talking about what's gonna, you know, what we can do against this blitz and and what we're gonna call here, um, and then just going and you know, they, Alex has been a great leader for them. That you know, they have their own meetings, um, you know, COVID compliance wise, when, whenever they can on their own, and they're talking through talking through ball, and, and I'm just sitting in on it, trying to learn as much as I can. And um, you know, it's good to have Steve Jones back, guys like Sala, TJ Bass. Um, you know, they're working really hard, so. Um, I'm excited to see what they can do. You know, they obviously there are five new starters, but I, they're not playing like it. You know, I've been really surprised and and pleased. Not even surprised because I've seen it in the spring and seen it in the off season. But I think a lot of people are surprised, at least on the coaching staff, because you know we had such a great offensive line last year. But I think you know what they've learned in the past and how they're applying it to themselves now is is is, is awesome. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Have a good day.